on today on the 1000 food fan we're cooking the red grill all right, we have imported this red grouse from Scotland and we're gonna cook it and we're gonna compare it to a Cornish game hen that you can buy in the American grocery store. Here's all of our ingredients. All right, this is the beginnings of the bread sauce. We've got milk, onions, a clove of garlic, cloves, butter, a bay leaf, and a sprig of thyme. We are heating this up. I'm going to bring that to a simmer. Um, and we're going to simmer that for 10 minutes. The recipe calls for breadcrumbs, and we're going to make breadcrumbs out of fresh white bread, which is not something I usually do, but I'm hoping that this will be the ticket. Alright, so there's our sauce simmering still. It's got another two minutes to go. And here's some butter. We're adding these breadcrumbs. And we're going to cook these until crispy. Should take about five minutes. Okay, our breadcrumbs are nice and crispy. Now we are going to add some sherry. We're going to cook that until evaporated, add in a little no, parsley, salt and pepper, cover with aluminum foil until we're ready for dinner. This is so tiny. This is like softball size. Oh boy, it smells like... Like game? <laughs> Gamey? It's like meat. I don't know. It just since it was all wrapped up. It doesn't smell bad. Oh look, some oh, thyme. Right or is that a feather? Oh, that's a feather. It smells like when you go to a farm. It totally does smell like a farm. Uh. So much bigger is our Cornish game hen. Put some clothes on. Nice, naked. nice to meet you. Just doing a little spa treatment for this baby. Just getting some moisturizing. So why do we have a separate pan in a pan? Well, this is a little bit of a hack that I thought of. Uh, since this game hen is so much larger than the grouse, I, we thought let's maybe um, separate them. Just be, do we wrap it around the wing or under the wing? Don't know. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna That's use good. three pieces. Even what? Though, even That's though crazy. It said only two. This little guy needs one more piece. Looks like they're done. Our grouse and our Cornish game hen wrapped in bacon. We've got the oven set to 425. We're going to put these guys inside for 25 minutes. To start. To start. All right, back over here to our bread sauce. We have strained out the liquid. We're gonna put that back in the pan and add some breadcrumbs. And the return of Elliot the Masher Miller. How's it going? And you can't have Red grouse without red currant jelly. And we found Mrs. Miller's, how appropriate. Where is this out of? Out of Fredericksburg, Ohio, Mrs. Miller's red currant jelly. All right, there it is, our red grouse.
with red currant jelly on a bed of bread sauce and game crumbs on top. This looks delicious. All right, we're cutting into this little puppy. Down the backbone here. I want to see the backbone. Let me see the back. Boom. There's our meat. But where's the backbone? It's like a dark meat there. Let's give Miles a little bit of bread sauce and a little bit of game crumb. Oh, a little grouse for Miles. I did. Um, what do you think, little boy? Yummy? What do you think? Mm -hmm. You don't like it? What's it kind of taste like? What's it Fried taste like? Fried potatoes. No, what's the meat taste like? Here, you need to taste the meat by itself. Come on. What's the meat taste like? Well, aren't you a little Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> no. Well, I didn't really like it. I would like the jam, but I didn't like that, 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 well, that, not that, or that. Just not a fan of it. Hey, <laughs> Dad. And the battery. So first off, you should know about me that I'm more of a white meat turkey guy. <coughs> so Thanksgiving, I'm just letting the dark meat go away. So with that said, the grouse, the red grouse is, is really dark meat and it has really strong flavor. It's not something I normally go for, but I found it pretty tasty. It was definitely gamey. Um, but what I really liked is the whole package. I felt like this was a Game of Thrones British Thanksgiving with instead of uh, stuffing, we had the bread sauce. Instead of um, cranberries, we had the red currant jelly. So overall, I really liked this meal. It was really tasty and good. My thoughts about the red grouse is that it was a pretty time consuming preparation. A lot of different steps. Um, the meat itself was not something that I would gravitate towards. I think it actually was really um, nice flavor when you took a bite with all of the accompaniments, you know, having the bread sauce with it and the jelly and the game crumbs that definitely made it tasty to me, but by itself I didn't really like it and I thought it had sort of a gamey odor which was a little bit off-putting. I liked the Cornish game hen, but I realized that that was maybe not the best comparison as far as a small uh, bird to um, compare it to. I don't Behind the scenes of 1000 Food Family is a little known Thousand Dishes family. Let's just say I have some work to do in this see kitchen. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you next time. Thanks for watching.